This is focus breathing. Slight shifting of the angle of view or the focal length when changing focus. It may seem the frame is moving, and this might ruin your shot. Some lenses have more of this breathing, while others less. In this video I'll compare breathing of several Sony E-mount lenses to give you some examples. New Sony cameras now offer breathing compensation, and I'll cover this a bit later in the video as well. My comparison camera is Sony A7 Mark III, AFC focus mode, expand flexible spot focus area set to the center of the frame. Aperture and focal length will be changing depending on a lens. Starting with the Sony FE 90mm f2.8 macro G, an incredibly sharp macro lens capable of superb results when applied properly. Breathing is always more obvious at the edges of the frame. Objects close to the edges will seem to move. Exactly what you are seeing here. And of course, the larger you shift focus distance, the more breathing you see. The next is Tamron FE70 180mm f2.8, model number A056 to be precise. A flexible zoom lens with lots of value for the price, which is favored by lots of reviewers. I set it to 90mm for more convincing comparison with the previous lens. Comparing this to Sony 90mm macro, it's a clear improvement, especially on reduced distance focus pools, where there's just a bit of breathing. The next lens is Sony FE 24-105mm f4G. This is also a very flexible lens praised by lots of reviewers, but blamed for being quite expensive for an f4 lens. I set it to 90mm as well. How do you like this? I would say, in comparison to the previous two, the Sony G Zoom simply doesn't have the breathing issue at all. But let's see how it compares to the next lenses. Zeiss Betis FE 40mm F2 CF. Lightweight, high quality and innovative. Sharper than many alternatives, but expensive.
at f2.8, it does breathe noticeably, in my opinion. Let's switch back to Sony's 24105 and see how it performs at 40 mm. Once again, almost flawless, I'd say. But here you might complain, hey, it's at f4.0, while Zeiss was at 2.8. Hurt. Let's stop down Zeiss to f4 and have a look. Has this brought it close to 24105? I would say not, still noticeable breathing. To confirm, let's go even further down with this size, to 6.3. At 6.3, depth of field gets much greater, required focus pools get much smaller, and breathing relatively less noticeable. But only relatively. In comparison to 24, 105, still lots of breathing here. The last one is Sony's value priced wide angle G lens 20mm f1.8. And once again, it doesn't take much effort to notice breathing. The benchmark zoom cannot go 20 millimeters just 24, but it's still worth comparison. Once again, the difference is obvious. Almost no breathing with 24-105. And a bonus! Sony ZV-1 fixed lens point shoot camera. It goes the widest exactly at 24 mm full frame equivalent, a perfect moment to bring it in. I set aperture to 1.8, but due to the sensor size of ZV-1, it's around f5 in full frame equivalent. Far from the benchmark 24105. Considering f5 effective aperture, I'd say it's close to Zeiss lens from above. Now, the chapters in this video let you easily go back, compare all the footage and draw your own conclusions. My conclusion. All these lenses are designed to shoot stills in the first place. A photo lens for a video is always a compromise, you cannot expect it to be perfect. Each lens here would have serious advantages over 24105 for stills, but for videos, in terms of focus breathing, 
the Sony G Zoom is a clear winner. One of the latest Sony cameras, a 7 Mark IV, has a new feature, breathing compensation. In-camera software crops your footage slightly and reduces breathing. It only works with certain Sony lenses, mainly Sony G Master ones. And this makes sense. Expensive G Masters are the most capable Sony lenses for steals, but they all breathe heavily. With this in-camera breathing compensation, Sony takes much of this breathing disadvantage away without sacrificing any steals capabilities. Nevertheless, both 20mm f1.8 and 24-105mm f4 are also on the list of supported lenses. That's all. Hope this was helpful.